Hello, folks, and welcome back to bum, 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 the playoffs. Part three. Part two didn't release in this country. So if you didn't see part two, it's because we didn't well, we didn't qualify, to be honest. Have next door started banging? Now. Of all it's a it's the playoffs! Sorry, viewers. My apologies. Right, let's not waste any time, though. Berry to come. Berry AFC, a team born from the ashes of Berry, who were a, a professional football team for a very long period of time in the Northwest. Uh, and now Berry AFC have risen off the back of their disappointing non existence now, which is such a shame. Uh, so let's see, though. Today, we want to cause them a little bit more pain, really. We want to beat them in the playoff semi final and then progress further to the future legs. You can see here, then, there are the fixtures that are taking place. And the good news for us viewers, I've just had a quick look. Berry have already played a playoff game that went to extra time against Stanford. So, two things. One, they're going to be half off the press. They're going to be high in form, you'd think. But equally, they should be quite tired uh, playing us today. They've got some very good players, some very good players that are going to cause us problems, I suspect. Uh, Cameron Davis on loan from Halifax Town. It's got a lot of pace, so I'm a little bit afraid of him. Um, Team-wise, though, like why change the thing that's worked for us all season? I don't think that's necessarily what we should do. There's a temptation to maybe go a little bit more defensive with it, but I think maybe... Actually, well, let's see, now I'm thinking about it. Making loads maybe support rather than attack for the first half, at least. And then if we need the goal, we push him on further. Um, Blackman, again, I think that's probably the same thing. Put him on a support role to begin with, and then we'll just... Because this is a one-off game, right? I don't want to lose the game straight away. Let's try to stay in it for a little bit longer. A very supportive midfield with a very vicious attack with Mbika and Hoey and the back three as they always are now Bailey Dennis Holmes and Milton who's come in to be fair to him and done a really good job since joining the team so hopefully he can continue with that um he's got the physical attributes he's six foot three he's decent at marking so he's got everything we need in this team really let's get into it then let's not waste any more time um the only, I guess the one big decision is Bailey I'm just thinking if they've got a quick right winger do we play Williams ahead of Bailey Dennis for the first time this season <sighs> Do you know what? I'd not really thought about it, but having done some research, viewers, I now wonder if that's the move. I think it's the move I'm going to make. There's a good chemistry between the boys anyway. So let's make that move. Let's do it and let's see if it pays off. That is something I didn't think I was going to do coming into this. We've got a couple of days actually before we play them. So their fitness might encourage and be better. Encourage? Uh, it might be a little bit better. Thames FC, by the way, the uh, the bigger dogs around here, currently creating what is a blue London uh, at the moment, are still going for that final Champions League spot. Although Manchester United with a game in hand looking more likely than them. And Arsenal just above them too. Uh, so Ben Sports News... Could be in trouble. We'll catch up with him uh, probably at the, at the start of next season if he's, of course, still in the job. If not, he might be doing some transfer news. Who knows at that point? Um, Barry AFC. I love, a, I love a playoff game. I was so disappointed last year to miss out. And this could be the year then where we could finally get that promotion. Third time lucky is the phrase, isn't it? Hopefully today's the day. Otherwise, for the first time ever, it will take me four seasons to get out of the first division I'm in in a YouTube series. So at least we'll be creating history viewers. You know, that's the that's the only thing I could take away from this to give me any sort of, well, it'll be fine. Um, but even then, it's not great, is it? Right, here we go then. Submit the team. Let's get into this. All right, we're playing, I think it's a neutral venue. I don't think, although it says we're the home side, I don't think it is. We, Jack Patman referees all of our games. There's, there must be some sort of bias there as David Murphin is going to be the manager for Berry. as, uh, let's tell them then, that this is an important match. I think we go for the pump fist viewers. It's been a while since we pumped them, but I'm going to tell them to impress me it's a game they need to impress as uh, yeah this i don't think this is their ground uh, well certainly not ours and we're listed as sort of the home side aren't we um again moving that midfielder slightly further forwards it's worked for us in recent games of course we lost our final league game but it didn't matter that much all things considered we missed out on that first round of the playoffs hopefully that's not of a, a disservice to us really hopefully that doesn't hinder us uh, in our hope for promotion but here we are then game on um is the pitch narrow? It looks really narrow. I, d I don't think we're... Oh, it's narrow. I'm not even going to look at it any longer. I know it is. We're not particularly good on these pitches. Um, I want us to... We're going to play a little bit narrower, but we're going to focus our play down the flanks, I think. That might be the way we approach this. Is we've got a throw in very early on. Blackman throws it in. Bailey Dennis not there for us. It's the, oh, the ball drops, and it's put in by Renard Calder, who doesn't always score for us, but his sixth goal of the season... Thames one, Berry nil. Not our most prolific goal scorer, but he gets the goal. Uh, it comes over from that right side. Not the, one of our taller players either, but the ball is flicked on at that front post. The keeper actually fumbles it, doesn't he, really? And it's put in by Calder. Thames one, Berry nil. 
It's a good start. 18 minutes gone. It's the perfect thing we need at the beginning of this game. It's whether we can stop the danger that the, the other side possess, which I do think is there and is could it's potentially going to be a problem for us. I'm looking at the visualizer on this side. There's no league table to look at, so I'll try to, to mix things up a little bit. I can, I can have another view of the way things are going for us, actually, if I, if I lower this as... But it's half time, actually. We're speaking of everything. A couple of bookings on their side that I didn't really pay attention to. And their shots so far have been few and far between. We've only had a couple, but we've scored one of them, so that's not too bad. Uh, things are going well, though, boys. I think we're capable of even better. I'm sending them straight back out there. Again, we got past this stage once before in a game that I thought was going to be very difficult and we dominated. This game, I wasn't too sure. I think the fact that they've played extra time probably pays, plays into our hands a little bit. It might be worth... I don't know, do you speed it up here to try and increase them to play a similar game and get tighter? Or do you slow it down and make them chase you a little more? I don't really know. On this type of pitch as well, it's difficult to play a possession like style. I'm doing a lot of talking while well, the time's ticking away. 75 minutes on the clock. Quarter play, he's gone down. Gilboy has fouled one of our players. Renard Calder, so he's not only scored a goal, he's won a penalty. And Blackman, the man that put in the corner, has got a chance to make it 2-0. This could be huge for us. Come on, my friends. Oh, he's put it wide. He's blazed it wide. You are kidding. I can't believe it. Huge chance to put us two goals in, in, in the advantage. And he's blown it. Hoey on it now. Finds the oh, nearly a cheeky ball through to Mbiku. We've got to be at our best here. Williams has done fine. Because he's come in here. Not the sharpest player recently as well. Because Bailey, uh, uh, Bailey Dennis has played so much more football. Calder, great first touch from him. Into Cousin Brad Carr. And actually we're controlling this beautifully right now. This is the sort of shape as well I'd like us to have. Mbika, Hoey in front. Just moving around. Looking for spaces. Mbika makes a run. We find him. Calder flicks it forward. Mbika, great little touch. Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful goal. Lebrun Mbika, 17th goal of the season. He was the big signing in the summer. And the man that's made them pay. 10 minutes left to go. 2-0 to the good. And it's looking very good. You can just see Mbika there. Makes a run. He doesn't quite get it as early as I think he wanted it. But still, that touch there. The little flick with the right foot. Onto the left. Pokes it into the back of the net. Lovely stuff. Times two. Very nil. This is on now, viewers. Come on. 10 minutes to go. I don't need any more, any more drama of any type. I'm very happy to win 2-0. They're attacking, stop them. Somebody somebody put a tackle in, somebody make a save. They're in the on goal, they've scored immediately. Flipping heck. It's uh, Seisman Kuzbik has got the goal, and Berry aren't done quite yet. Our XG in this game is really good. Consider about six sh shots. The XG of 1.86 is really, really good. It's the time, by the way, ticking away. Four minutes left to go. Don't break from this, blimey. Calder takes it, launches one in. Straight to the keeper. Now, the pitch is longer than it is at our place, so it's going to be a lot tougher to keep this straight over our bat line and be on on goal. He says, as the ball is launched forward, we usually win these headers. Milton's missed the header. Why did I say any words? Viewers, Leach is in on goal. Emery's got to go huge. He doesn't. They've scored. You're joking. I can't believe it, viewers. 2-2. Two, two. Thames 2, Berry 2. It's launched over. Milton, who's just come into the side, misses the header. I don't even want to see what comes next. As, well, this might be of advantage to us. If it goes to extra time, which it's going to, they're going to be knackered. Um, that's... That's disappointing. We have binned it off, viewers. I'm not happy with performance. I might even throw it. I'm going to thrash arms, viewers. I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. The bottle job we've just put on there is something that I should be proud of. David Hoey up front, by the way. 6.1. Geo Craig's coming on. Not good enough at all. David Hoey. It's his big moment to stand up and be counted. I said yesterday that Mbika loves a big game. He's got his goal. Two late goals and we've managed to bin it off. Are you kidding me, by the way? If this goes to penalties, we could be all at sea. Calder's going to take this throw in towards Holmes. Can he get under it? Oh, no. Calder Bank Park has got it. It sounds like a business estate, doesn't it? New build. As the ball is launched forward, we're there under it this time. Milton doesn't have to head it. Chips it forward down the line to absolutely nobody. Leach is on it now. We've got plenty of players back right now. But we seem relatively well set as we force the ball backwards just a little bit. Play down the line. Milton's there. Cuts it out. Goes straight back to them, though. Ball in's really good. Dunn's there. Oh, my God. You are joking me, viewers. You are kidding. We'll go attacking. We don't really have much choice. I can't believe we've been this off. Three times we've tried to get promoted. And this one is the most embarrassing. The ball forward, Milton. It's just hopelessly nowhere, isn't it? Dunn's there. It's a good finish. But what are we doing? We've got a corner. We've gone past the second half of extra time. It's whipped in. It was pretty close. I mean, Formation Man's going to have to do something here. We, we've got to go for it in some fashion, right? Blackman's left-footed, so we'll keep him out there. Borman's going to go forward a little bit more. We've got, we've got to put more bodies forward, surely. Blackman on a throw-in. We've got to try and take this to penalties now. Geo Craig's there. It's bouncing. How oh, we not poked it into the goal? Calderbank Park again on it. Now, if we win the knockdowns here, win the headers. I mean, Holmes there. The header's not bad, but it's gone straight to Leach on that side. We've got to get closer to him. 
that's the what have I just watched there? They're in Emery with a save. There's less than 15 minutes to go, and from 2 0 up to 3 2 down, we have managed to bin this off. I guess at 2 0, maybe I could have gone more defensive and settled this game there and then. He's offside. Wow, done put it in the back of the net. I thought it was just over. All right, we're going to go more direct with our play. We're going to play a little bit wider because we're going to have to. We won't work it into the box now. We need to basically just lump it. Corner though to Berry. Played in. Back post. It's in on goal again. The ball's ended up in the back of the net, but it was something happened. How have you managed to throw this away, viewers? That's what you've got to ask yourself. How have we managed to throw this away? We'll go to it at the back. Why not? Come on. Uh, Ryland's going to come in for Calder as well. A little bit of pace, width outside. I mean, we've got... To... <sighs> Time's gone. We've got a throw in. Can we make something happen? We've got... We're going all out now, surely. Blackman's just thrown a challenge in there absolutely recklessly. Another one's gone in. Lowe's plays it back to Williams, who launches one forwards. We don't win the knockdown, although Lowe's is there. We've got plenty of players for Geo Craig to keep us in this. Craig! Geo Craig's done it! Fourth goal of the season. He's been the, the second striker all year. And very, very rarely featured. David Hoey didn't do it today. Geo Craig, with three minutes left, has got us back on level terms. Flipping heck. Does the crowd go wild? Or is the man next door banging on the wall all, all night long? Penalties. Oh, no. All right, Blackman and Beaker. I mean, Bourne, Cousin Redcar, Geo Craig. Now's your moment, boys. Now's your moment. Relax. Pick your spot. Don't change your mind. Come on. We've got this. All right, Blackman the first to step up. A man that usually likes scoring penalties, right? Go on, mate. I mean, that was a little bit close for comfort, wasn't it? Should we go right behind them for this? Should we go behind the goal and then flip reverse it on your baby? It's not reversing, viewers. It's not reversing. They've scored their penalty. Oh, my word. It won't reverse. It just won't reverse. I mean, this angle's pretty good, to be fair. You get a good look at the goalkeeper. And Beaker steps up. 2-1. I mean... I hate penalties. This is not the way to go through. I've been playing so much football as well now that whoever goes through, I mean, Berry will have had two extra time games and penalties if they go through. Whitehead, I've just realised I need Michael Emery to save a penalty. I should have changed. I should have changed the goalkeeper. Bourne stepping up now to make it three-two to Thames. He's got to score, and he does score. It's a great penalty. Great penalty. God, oh, boy, flipping heck! I I hate this. Gilboy stepping up for Berry. Michael Emery, please, please. Cousin Brad Carr, he's family. So, you know, whatever, Cousin Brad Carr, it, it doesn't matter. But please, for the love of God, score. He scored. It's a great penalty, by the way. The scene is set for Michael Emery here, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it, viewers? Dunn steps up. They've got to miss. <laughs> Michael Emery gets nowhere near them. All right, Joe Craig, he got us the goal to keep us in this. Now put us in the driving seat. Joe Craig, that's a great pen. Michael Emery. It's the it's sudden death. They miss this. We go through and Michael Emery can be a hero. I mean, please, Michael, please. Do, move your arms. Do some grubble. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> Imagine this is the first product he saves all season. Hutchinson, I so want it to be. He's missed though. And Michael Emery, you can take the credit. AFC Thames have done it. We go through to the final. Oh, my God. Oh, the, if it's the finals like that, viewers, all bets are off. I'm on edge here. Blackman missed that penalty. And then he scores one in the shootout. And then they hit the post. I mean, that is what we finished with. It looks ridiculous. But we'll take it. There we go. Congratulations, boys. We move on to the final. We've been there before. We've lost there before. And um, we're going back there. Quite a few teams, by the way, had penalties. So that we were not going to be the only side potentially struggling for a bit of fitness. But let's move on then. Who will we face in the next uh, the next round of these playoffs. Michael Emery, please, with a comeback. He's the assistant manager. He's a man after my own heart. We love him. But who will we face? That's the question. I don't know if the games have been played yet. Um, oh, it's here. It's right now. Right here, right now. Who will be in our way when it comes to getting through? That team is Bishops Cleave. Right. Okay. Bishops Cleave. We play them in three days' time. Of course, we're doing it today. Uh, here we go, then. Oh, my goodness me. Can never turn down the opportunity for a team meeting, viewers. Um, it gives a chance to mirror expect game promotion. I mean, it's playoff time. Ease expectations. Just go out there and treat it like any other match. And they they love that. They absolutely love that. Wow, I've never I've never got that's never gone so well for me, viewers. Okay then, <laughs> viewers, viewers. This has got to be it. Let's do a little bit of research on them so I know what what we're dealing with here. They've got this guy Harrison Myring, who is. Far and away their best players, at least, at least from a goals perspective, uh, probably of Leicester. 16-39 is not amazing, but it's still okay. The best player this year on average rating is him by, 
a mile. It's a, it's amazing, really, that they're this high up or that they've got to this stage, considering their performances don't seem all that, although they are a team, as you can see, they're bang in form. And Tyrone Tucker Dixon is one of their, their men in form at the moment, who cannot play. He will not be available. Team wise for us, what formation do they play? Actually, we should probably just take a quick look at that. So we've got a vague idea of what we're up against. 4 2 3 1. Now, it's not a system that we can match very well, but it is a system that causes us quite a lot of problems. Um, I doubt I have a right back, and Conte is not someone I'm going to play in this game. I think we're playing Holmes there. He's better for us. He's a little bit quicker. He's right footed. It makes more sense. Milton's decent. Although, actually, saying that, do we play Milton as a cover and bring in Bailey Dennis back into the team? I think we probably do. That three in midfield, I think we've, we've changed it up before. I think actually putting putting Bourne on the right side and maybe having Cousin Red in the centre again it might allow Bourne to sort of help cover with Holmes on that right hand side. Calder plays out there. He does he does track back a little bit, but not loads. And with Blackman, I, I do want him pushing further forward, I think, in this sort of game as well. That's what we should look to do. So it's not too dissimilar. Of course, we've played the system a lot this year. <laughs> now, it, it has to mean something, boys. Come on. Three disappointments. Three. That's all I can think. Three disappointments is too many disappointments. Two, I can deal with. Three, we'll be going around again, viewers. People have said that, actually. They, they're quite enjoying the struggle of this, as am I. But at this stage, when you get to a playoff final, and this is our second time doing it, I want to see us do some more. Come on, boys. Financially kind of need this <laughs> so so please it's just the it's, it's just the history of uh, the future of thames and afc thames you know that's it really that's all it takes is we're still on the on the, on the penalty view so let's go back to tv as blackman's got a long throw to play in towards holmes who's there this time he's just going to take his time as he swings it across called us there big chance oh it's a gurney goal it's a very early goal it's a fantastic time to score one minute 12 seconds i think maybe even not even that on the clock and calder renard calder stepping up but it matters this man it's one nil that's what we like to see the throw in from blackman is, is put in and there's holmes there i've just i've just reminded myself here viewers. let's just change something i saw the throw in and i thought let's stop him taking them on that side there we go the left side fine all right good early start Cold Holder taking the throw in, not Blackman this time. It's still long, it's not particularly accurate. And Phil Pot in goal for Bishop Cleave is going to get there first. Now, this is where I fear chances may come as well. If they're going to do that, we're going to be all right. Holmes gathers it really well. Back to Michael Emery, the penalty hero. Uh, <laughs> and forward it goes. <laughs> I, don't actually, I don't think I can call him a penalty hero when they hit the post. Right, they're forward though. Tala on this left-hand side. We're tracking. This is the side I'm worried about, viewers. It's where we don't play a right back. It's where I think uh, we should maybe have signed a right back as the ball played in. We've got, to be, we've got to be careful. There's not too much I can do to stop this from happening. That's the problem. Other than playing Borman there and uh, or Bourne there and hoping he, he gets over there. His name is very challenging. It, it said Bourne, I think, but it doesn't look like Bourne. It's like Johnny Vaughan. There's a big chance. Volley by Maring. He's definitely their threat. You can see they're looking for him every time. He's had a head in our volley. Ten minutes gone, and you know we're, we're happy ahead. They've got a very conventional four at the back, which I'm hoping Hoey and Mbika will be able to break those lines. Will we see another big game from Mbika as that ball forward is headed back down, and they're there to gather. Brad Carr comes across a little bit. Ball forward looked a little bit offside to me, but I mean it was offside. But I tell you what, they look for him on every occasion. I wonder if it's worth dropping the line back a little bit as that ball to Mbika is headed away. We've got to get there first. I think we will do this time, Holmes. I don't know if it's worth dropping the line back a bit. I'm not. I'm, look at me taking it seriously. You can tell I want to win this one, can't you? Right. Um, let's do that, I think. Out of possession. Let's drop the line just a little bit. We'll keep our standard line, actually. We'll stay further push forward with the attack. But I think having a slightly deeper line will stop them putting balls in behind quite as often. I would hope, anyway. But look, they're doing it every time. Launched forward to him. Emery makes a block, but he's getting in a lot at the moment. Finding a way to stop him is going to be a bit of a challenge. Whether we put a man marking job on him is an option, I guess. It's not something I'd really thought about. As And Beaker's going to pull this ball away. He's going to drive with it. Oh, he's gone. I mean, cold it. It's a 3v2 at the, at the back for them. We've worked forward. The ball into the centre. It would be crucial here if we can get it. I mean, it's been taken away from Renard Calder really, really well. Got to give him credit. And now Tala on this near side is going to bring it away. 20 minutes gone. It feels like it's been going forever. Calder with a, a corner this time. Played in. We're not quite there. And Beaker, though, is going to gather... And he's got Calder with loads of space on this right-hand side and still plays forward. But Mbika's decided, no, I'll take it on myself. Calder, in fact, went inside. Oh, my goodness me, Renard Calder has scored a screamer. Eighth goal of the season now. He's racking them up. It's Thames 2, Bishop Cleve nil. I mean, 
what a little goal this is. And Beaker here, I'm thinking, just play him down the line. We've got players in the centre. And Beaker goes, no, no. He ushers Calder inside, who takes the shot. Left footed, first time. Philpott can't keep it out. 20 minutes gone. 2 0 up. Oh, it's a bit too easy. There. Oh, no, he's got throw ins. Now he does throw ins, not just goals, viewers. Looks around Beaker. The six foot three frame flicked on. It's there. Milton, it's not going to count. Oh, I looked at the assistant straight away. I was pretty sure it wasn't going to count. But I was excited, viewers, nonetheless. I think the man stopped banging next door as well. So, you know, we're, we're living the dream out here, viewers. This is this is the perfect life. Brooks on the right-hand side. We've got to be aware of the dangers they pose. I thought that was a, I thought that was going to go on the season right there. That was that was an effort, viewers. Bishop's cleave. Right. 2-0. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We've had two goals. One ruled out for, for offside, I think it was. And, I mean, here we go. I mean, time's ticking away. Well... Oh, a throw in late in the half. Don't let them break from this. There's still 30 seconds or so. As we flick it on, Hol uh, Holmes was there. Not this time, though. And that's surely going to bring it into the half. And what a half it is, viewers. That gives us that gives us something to work with now. Something to defend, maybe? I don't know. There's <laughs> Suddenly, serious beds come out. Do we go a little bit more reserved here? Do we take what we've got and stick rather than twist maybe this is this is sort of the problem all season i've kept a very thin squad this year and i don't really necessarily i'm not changing anything i don't have the players to bring on to shut games down and i think going into next season whether we're in this division or not hopefully not then we'll have the opportunity potentially to maybe bring in some players that allow us to change games defensively mid-game offensively having geo craig on the bench having a few other players of that ilk griffiths as well has been helpful as that ball's been played in and the header of Michael Emery claims 20 minutes to go for Michael. We're going to go cautious, take less risks, keep the ball as and when is necessary. The clearance for Michael Emery, though, not the best as Brooks now. Ball played in again. Myring's there and wow, they've got the goal. Harrison Myring's 20th of the season. He's not quite as prolific as David Hoey. He's on 6.7 so far, not having the best game of his life currently. Um, I don't know what do you do. Do you? St oh man, this is so awful. Now it's a great header, by the way. I mean, you've got to give him credit. Absolutely superb. Maybe a player we should try and sign at some stage. Twenty minutes to go. We've gone cautious. I mean, we've made that move. I'm going to demand more from the boys as we've got another long throw. These either go straight to the keeper and we are in panic mode, or or Billy Hose flicks it on and makes it three one Thames. We are back in the lead. I say back in the lead. It feels like we were drawing there because they got the goal back. Billy Holmes from centre back's gone up. And he's flicked it on. Blackman with a long throw. You can just see, just sort of floats towards it. It's the it's the softest thing. It caught me out. I almost couldn't believe he'd done it. Flicks it past the goalkeeper. Thames three. Bishop Cleave one. And 12 minutes between ourselves and tier three. Uh, tier three. No, tier seven, sorry. It's our third attempt. That's why I'm getting confused. As that ball forward to my ring has been knocked back. It's cleared away. Defensively now, boys, we've got to switch on as Emery comes and claims. Look, I don't know if this is very smart. Danny Hogg, I don't think Danny Hogg can play right. He can play right back terribly. I'm going to bring another player. Colder's coming off. We're going to sit like this now for the rest of the game. It's almost Italian, but it's not really. It's the it's the Great Wall of Benji. That's what it, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> it's a new name. My ring's in on goal, by the way. We've got more defensively scored. Oh, my word. There's five minutes to go. And I've brought a left back on at right back who can't really play there, but he is a defender. We're going to make the change anyway. It's not long left to go. We'll go defensive. We'll try and hold on, boys. Is it the promised land of tier seven? Or is there going to be a late twist? No. No twist. Come on. Now we're talking. That's what it's all about, viewers. Oh, finally. Finally. There's, not a, there's no more games, are there? Really special, lads. Great win. There's not any more. Play tell me there's no more playoff games. I've never got past this stage before. Please tell me there isn't. There it says there, AFC Thames, celebrate promotion. And oh, look at the boys. Oscar Montague, what a name. Of course, he's a fan of us. Oh, man, what a great result. I'll be buzzing about this all week. Damien B Bins, great result. Can't believe how good we were. More of the same next match, please. You've got to wait a little bit, uh, Damien. Sorry about that. Darren, there aren't many sides more worthy of promotion than AFC Thames. They've got a fantastic attitude. Yes, my friend. We're going up, says Jody. Who's out celebrating tonight? Not you, Jody. There's rules and regulations, and we must follow them to the law. Um, Ava is there as well. Glad we've been. I say this like this is you, I realise. I read these out like they're things you lot would say. I don't know. Get in the comments section. What would you put in the how the fans were re have reacted section? And I'll read out the best ones at the start of the next episode. Oh, I feel so much relief. <sighs> Promotion. Finally. It's taken some time viewers flipping heck we get 10,000 for winning the playoff final bought at the initial budgets uh 5.25k a week i'm pretty sure 
is much more than we're spending right now. So the the room to manoeuvre has opened up a little bit, which is perfect. Unexpected promotion. That's annoyed me. But yeah, we'll take it anyway. Was it unexpected? Season preview? Down in eighth. I mean, we've been in the, in the conversation before, so it's not all bad. These guys here, by the way, from Loughborough Uni. The fact Loughborough, Loughborough Uni haven't gone up. Says that look, they are 48. That's un I didn't even realise they are 48 to 1 to go up. And if I'm not mistaken, no, sorry, I, I'm all over the place here. They've not gone up, have they? This might be a team we look at and we try and take some players from. I'm pretty sure Adam Lovett is a former hashtag player at some stage. Potentially, I could be way off there. I feel like I recognise the name anyway. But there we go. That's going to conclude today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back for a whole lot more next season in tier... What division are we in? Tier 7? But what division? Rules here. Remote to the, pre the Premier Divisions, whatever they are. So, um, yeah, we'll see you there for those. I can't wait, viewers. It's been emotional. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Take care. See you soon. Come on. <sighs> Why has it always got to be stressful? Ah, oh, viewers, let's just do this as like an afterthought, shall we? It's the end of season review for Thames FC. Let's take a look at a few of the bits and pieces there. This is the players that were our new additions to the side. One substitute appearance for Sam Ashton, 7.7. <laughs> I mean, didn't play that much after that. Uh, and Beaker, of course, fantastic. Adam Bailey Dennis, he can't run, but, well, he, he can defend. That's all we require, really. Really good from him. Those are the two guys or three guys that have stood out. I say, I say three guys. Actually, Victor Milton came in late on and did a really fine job. A uh, season to remember, David Hoey. 35 goals, absolutely exceptional. Um, we're only filling 10% of the ground right now, so that's something we've got to improve on. But the board are so happy that we've won promotion. Um, they're, they're loving life, viewers, it's fair to say. Absolutely loving it. Uh, biggest win, 5-2 victory over South Park. Don't know about don't know about that TV show. And the goal of the season uh, came from Mbiko, who's got a memorable goal in the 8-6. In the I'll be honest, viewers, I cannot remember it. <laughs> it was like a bit of a chaotic game. Uh, 94 shirts sold. I have, I have my 10 shirts somewhere. Ah, yes, here they are. Uh, big news, they will be made available. So if you're looking to get yourself one, you can do. Uh, 94 shirts sold so far. I wonder if we'll sell that many in real life. Uh, there we are then. That's the team. That's the lineup. It doesn't make much sense, viewers, but this is what we do. I am formation man and it looks a little bit like a boat doesn't it lovely uh, accolades as well there they go david hoey billy holmes uh, and beaker was fantastic too of course record breakers david hoey has broken everything basically fastest goal though and beaker 35 seconds he holds on to that then as uh, bbc london say a remarkable season for afc Thames. started superbly never let up they are deservedly going up just about 442 afc Thames flew out of the traps and set themselves up for the most magical of promotions says paul doyle thank you paul and there we are then job done Lovely, good, and calm. Not at all calm. Oh. Oh, dear.